I can't wait to talk about this movie starring Mel Gibson and Frank Griller. Game over. Darn it. It's Grillo. I knew that. So what is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel, Boss Level. is the brand new movie on Hulu, directed by Joe Carnahan. I can't wait to talk about it. I need your thoughts down below. Thank you for joining me for this review, and let's get into it. So a retired Special Forces officer is trapped in a never-ending time loop on the day of his death. Not only do we have Grillo and Mel Gibson, but we also have Naomi Watts, Rob Gronkowski, I kid you not, he's in this movie, and a handful of other individuals, but it's really all about Frank Grillo's character and the fact that he is, as we have seen multiple times in multiple movies, stuck in the same time loop, the same day, over and over again. He has to continue to play out that day and figure out, okay, what's going on? How do I get out of here? And why is everyone in the world trying to kill me? It's not only, oh, he's stuck in the same day. He has to figure things out. Uh, like Palm Springs, except this time, it's not just J.K. Simmons with a crossbow. It's pretty much every super villain-esque character you could find in town. And I will give the movie a lot of kudos for the creativity behind not only the weapons they are using, but also the kills that they are um, going for. And my goodness, I mean, it's as over the top and violent and wild. You have someone with a sword who's cutting Frank Grillo's head off every now and then. You're shooting an arrow through his chest as it flattens out. It drags him across the concrete as the guy is driving his truck. It is as violent as you could imagine. So if you're thinking about watching this with, uh, say, your parents, if you're younger, or your kids, if you are parents, it's probably not the best idea. It is a hard R rating. That being said, there is a bit of heart, unexpected heart, in this film. Because of Grillo's character of Roy and his relationship with his son in the movie, um, that brings out a lot of, like I said, unexpected emotion from this really rough and tough guy. But it also gives the film a bit of depth that I do believe it was lacking in the first two acts. Uh, and it really starts to bring that story home. Now, do they execute that to perfection? Absolutely not. And I will admit, there are aspects about the entirety of the film that do feel a bit dated, from some of the jokes just to the ideas in general. Again, it's a trope that we've seen a thousand times before, so how do you overcome that? How, how do you do something different? But I'll be honest with you, I've seen a lot of these movies lately, from a Palm Springs to uh, The Map of Tiny Perfect Things, another film that I thoroughly enjoyed utilizing this concept, and this one as well. I enjoyed this movie. I did. I had a really good time with it. There are clear flaws, especially once you dive into that script and the dialogue. And this is going to sound weird. The repetitive nature of some of the moments, not the fact that he's repeating the same day over and over. It's just some of the jokes. They start to maybe get old after a while. And I really wanted the story to uh, go somewhere at certain points in the movie. And it does. Thank goodness. It feels like every time we're about to hit that wall, something more exciting happens, or Grillo says a line of dialogue that actually hits. And I will admit there are a lot of uh, one-liners that kind of make it feel like this 90s action movie with the time loop concept, as well as the slight utilization of video game elements, right? And when I first saw the trailer, and really when I first started watching the movie, it felt like what I believe Free Guy is going to feel like, you know, the new Ryan Reynolds movie coming out eventually. But Really, the only video game trope that it uses is the fact that he kind of respawns, comes back to life, and then takes on a lot of these characters, and then you got to get to the boss level. And that's the entire reason behind the movie being called that. And then, of course, every time he uh, comes back again, we have this graphic on screen, and we'll get the, the Game Over logo, which is actually pretty cool, and it did add some flair. I also want to comment on Joe Carnahan's direction here. Listen, he knows exactly what kind of movie, and I feel, honestly, for most of his films that this is the case, it just feels like he's aware, right? Not every line works, and the script could have used some work, absolutely, but he's very aware of the type of pure action movie that he's making, and because of that, and also because of the really entertaining fight scenes, and as he's figuring this out, you are as invested as you could have imagined with a plot like this, uh, because he's so compelling, as an actor, Frank Grillo is a really good actor. He's built for action, even though, again, some of the jokes, you know, I feel like they could have worked on that and maybe some of the things that he says in general. Uh, but in terms of what he's trying to do, his motivation, I liked it. 
So I guess just count this as a guilty pleasure for me, even though I don't feel all that guilty about it. Listen, Frank Grillo, really good in the film. Mel Gibson, he could have had more to do, but he at least makes for a fun boss level bad guy, right? The boss level doesn't waste any time, and it provides all of the action you need to have a really entertaining experience. Before I give you guys my score, appreciate you big time for watching. Are you watching Boss Level today, or have you seen it already? Because I know it released in other places. My score is a 73% for Boss Level. Yeah, I just, I really enjoyed myself while watching this. And I understand, it does get a bit cliche, and, and you could kind of predict where it's going. I could have used maybe a, a slightly bit more at the end, but I just, I had a good time, and I can't lie to you. It's a movie I'm going to recommend uh, to a lot of friends and family, because it's one of those you can kind of turn your brain off and enjoy it, but there's this underlying level of emotion that's actually unexpected. All right, I need you guys down below. How did you feel about this film? Did you have as much fun as I did? You're the best. Appreciate you for watching. And I'll see you soon.